In this lesson, we will explore the process of confirming, prioritizing, and assessing vulnerabilities using tools like CVSS and CVE and evaluating their impact on organizations. The first step in vulnerability analysis is confirmation, which involves distinguishing between false positives and false negatives. A false positive is a mistakenly identified vulnerability, whereas a false negative is an actual vulnerability that goes undetected. Accurate confirmation is crucial for effective vulnerability management. Once vulnerabilities are confirmed, the next step is prioritization. This involves assessing the severity and potential impact to determine which vulnerabilities to address first. The Common Vulnerability Scoring System CVSS, provides a standardized way to rate the severity of vulnerabilities. Higher CVSS scores indicate more severe vulnerabilities, guiding organizations in prioritization. The Common Vulnerability Enumeration CVE, is a list of publicly disclosed cybersecurity vulnerabilities and exposures. Each CVE entry provides a standard identifier and a brief description of the vulnerability, helping security professionals stay informed about known vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities can be classified based on their nature and potential impact. This includes categories like network vulnerabilities, software bugs, and configuration errors. Classifying vulnerabilities helps in applying specific mitigation strategies. The exposure factor represents the potential loss from a vulnerability being exploited. Environmental variables like network architecture and existing security controls also play a role in vulnerability impact. Understanding these factors is essential in risk assessment. Risk tolerance is the level of risk an organization is willing to accept. It influences how vulnerabilities are addressed. In real-world scenarios, these principles guide organizations in managing vulnerabilities effectively. In conclusion, the analysis of vulnerabilities is a multifaceted process that involves confirmation, classification, and prioritization based on various factors like CVSS scores, environmental variables, and organizational impact. Effective analysis is key to managing vulnerabilities and enhancing security posture.